The Emerald Coast Skydivers, first jumper is out. Take a look at the smoke. We will have more of those jumpers as they depart the aircraft. They'll pull, throw out their canopies. Check out on the web, emeraldskydive.com. Look at this, the Geico Skydivers, 100 years of naval aviation. The American flag, sky typing, it just doesn't get any prettier than this. Look for the Emerald Pro Skydivers as they begin to throw open their canopies. The Ram Air canopies are steered very much like the Wright brothers steered their aircraft many, many years ago. Coming in right now, the leader, MD Mad Dog Evans, Jim Horak, he's got a tandem today. John Jason, Timber McKinney, Don Cripps, Wayne Lancaster, Alex Grissom, Kevin King, nicknamed Elvis, Jeff Varney, Caroline Coleman, Casey White, and John Morris. With a forward speed, depending on the size of the canopy, between 22 and about 40 miles per hour, the smaller the canopy, the faster they go. They steer their canopies the way the Wright brothers steered their first airplane in 1903. They change the shape of the wing. It is called wing warping. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. They can hear you. The Emerald Coast Skydivers. We'll see the Guy Coast Skydivers a little bit later on. We'll get, be able to give them a great round of applause. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as they continue to circle, they can actually hear you, but high above. Now, I do see one American flag, but that is not the flag that uh, we're going to be bringing in here in just a little bit. Chuck Hammond will be bringing in the huge American flag, 5,000 square foot American flag. But let's watch the jumper is working his way in, pulls on both of the steering lines with a great run on landing. The Emerald Coast Skydivers working their way in. These are parachutes are made out of a lightweight rip stop nylon. Very maneuverable as you see the one jumper coming down to the tiptoe landing. Right overhead with a small American flag. Our traditional air show opening will be performed with the E-Team Skydivers from Cincinnati, Ohio, and a huge flag.
is having the ride of his or her life. I've done this about three times, and I tell you, it is an amazing feeling to have about 40 seconds of free fall and then fly under canopy seeing a part of Florida like you've never seen it before. Another tandem jumper on the way in. Above right now, if you look directly above, we see the aircraft with the E-Team skydivers. Paul McCallum will be coming in with the POWMIA flag. Chuck Hammond will be coming in with the American flag. Second jumper is out. That red, white, and blue canopy is the American flag. And the smoke's coming on with David Martin flying the Breitling aircraft, representing Breitling timepieces. He's flying a French built Cap 232. And Jan Calmer, who flew for you earlier. We'll be circling the jumpers. Watch the spiraling down that you see there, ladies and gentlemen. That spiraling. Now, what you've seen right there was the cutaway. For some reason, That canopy, that red, white, and blue canopy failed. And so the jumper, Chuck Hammond, has then just decided to cut it away and deploy his reserve parachute. That parachute will be recovered. There's the POWMIA flag with Paul McCowan.
Also, Chuck Hammond. He brought that.